Hey, hey, everyone, and uh, welcome in or welcome back. It's a monkey mar. Before we get into this video, please make sure you click that subscribe button, the bell for notifications, and of course, the like. We have an update on good old Megan Boswell. So let's get into this article and what's next for Megan Boswell in court. Out of Tennessee, Kingsport, on December 3rd, 2020, Megan Boswell, the mother of a deceased Sullivan County toddler, Evelyn May Boswell, who was the center of a statewide Amber Alert, is scheduled to appear in court. With her being charged with what she currently is, her reactions have been appropriate said Boswell's attorney, Brad Sproles. That's a huge charge, charges that she's facing, so I knew she understands the gravity of it. Attorney for Megan Boswell responds to murder indictment. On that day, she will learn the punishment the state is seeking against her on 19 charges, including two counts of felony murder in the death of her daughter. I'm sure she's scared and she's remorseful over her daughter, Sproles said. She's done an admirable job of holding it together and being able to talk about the case rather than break down. The options, life in prison, life without parole, or the death penalty. Megan Boswell pleads not guilty. State to decide by December if death penalty will be on the table. What do you guys think? Do you think that Megan Boswell should get the death penalty? She evaluates things. She thinks them through. She interacts with me to take a look at the legal issues in her case, Sproul said. I don't see any signs of trauma or anything like that, probably because she is a sociopath. All documents for the case, including the evidence, are sealed, even to Sproul's. Grand jury indicts Megan Boswell on felony murder, other charges, and Evelyn Boswell's death. We don't know how Evelyn was found. We don't know what the police found. All we know is that she was found, said Sproles. Sproles says he agreed with sealing case documents because of the interest and intense media coverage, which is why he also wants this trial to be held elsewhere. I expect we'll have to go further out, Megan Boswell's attorney asked, or to change a venue due to media coverage. I expect the judge will have us jump through some hoops and see whether or not there's a possibility of having an impartial jury here in Sullivan County, he said. He also filed a motion for a bill of particulars in discussions with the state. My questions may be answered once we have all of the information from them. So that one may go away, he said. Rolls does expect to get access to evidence before the December hearing. The DA will have us all the discovery before that date. From that point forward is where the real work begins because we'll be on a level playing field with the DA's office. We'll know the information that they know, Sproul said. A closer look. Megan Boswell faces 19 charges, including two counts of felony murder. Megan Boswell's attorney describes her as an intelligent young lady who understands in and is involved in her case. She asks questions sometimes about things I haven't thought of. She's evaluating the case properly, said Sproles. Megan's charges include two counts of felony murder, one count of aggravated child abuse, one count of of aggravated child neglect, one count of tampering with evidence, one count of abuse of corpse, one count of failure to report a death under suspicious, unusual, or unnatural circumstances. 12 counts of false reports. I don't know about you, Megan Boswell, but I guess we're going to have to wait until December 3rd to catch her at her court date and see what the DA is going to put on the table. I wonder if she still even has an option to take a plea deal. Hmm, interesting. And before we get out of this quick update, let's go and check on Angela Boswell and see if she's been to court recently. All right, so there is nothing new on Angela Boswell or her little boyfriend, William McLeod. Nothing new since June when the third person was arrested for breaking into Angela Boswell's father's house. 
because in my personal opinion, I do not think they had anything to do with Evelyn Boswell's death. I think Megan Boswell was a one-man show, and only she knows what she did. And hopefully on December 3rd, we will find out what the state of Tennessee is going to charge her with. All right, guys, make sure you drop them comments and opinions. I try to get back and answer all of them. It may take a few, but I do read them. And with that, guys, it is a wrap. I want to thank you all for coming in. Thank you for uh, watching. Please like or dislike, whichever you prefer, and a subscribe. Everyone have a good day or a good night wherever you are in the world. And stay uh, vigilant. I am out.